In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to drive joints on hinges on a simple cabinet door. You can then do motion studies and all kinds of things once you've set up your joints. Here I have four components. I have a box for the cabinet, a simple door, and two hinges. I imported these hinges straight from McMaster car. One thing we need to do with the hinges before we make joints is to change these bodies into components. So you can twirl out one of the hinges in the browser of Fusion 360, then click all the bodies, right click, create components from bodies. Now we have components. Next, we can use Fusion 360's as-built joint feature to quickly create joints. Click on assemble, then as-built joint. We'll click this door, then this hinge right here, joint type rigid, OK. We'll do that again, as-built joint. Click on the door, then this hinge. OK. We'll make an as-built joint in between the box and this hinge. OK. We'll do the same for the top. We'll create an as-built joint, this one, and this one. OK. Now we need to create some as-built joints for the actual hinges themselves. So we'll assemble as-built joint, click this piece and this piece, and then we want a revolute joint. And once we do that, we need to select a place for the joint control. So I'm gonna pick the top and say, okay. Next, we need to make a joint between this piece and the pin. This could either be a revolute joint or a rigid joint. I'll go ahead and make it a revolute joint. So as built joint, this piece, then the pin, and we have to put the origin and I'm gonna put it on the bottom just for clarity and then say, okay. Now we're basically ready to start driving our joints, but if we drive them now, we're not sure if the box will rotate or the door will rotate. So we need to fix one of them in place. To do that, we can make an as-built joint between the box and the full assembly. So click as-built joint, click the box component, then the top level component, make sure you pick rigid, then say okay. Now we're ready to drive joints. Then I can click assemble, drive joints. I'll click this joint right here. Then we can move the door. And as you can see, we can move this door anywhere we want. And we can create motion studies and animations, which is a really great thing to do in Fusion. If you leave it there, you can orbit around, then you can move it again. If I go ahead and click assemble and then motion study, we can select what joint we want to drive. So I'm gonna select this joint right here. Then we can go a bit in our timeline, say right here, then we can change the angle to say 180. It will close that joint. We can move forward just a few frames and then keep it at 180. And then we can go down to the end here and then we can say zero. And then that way, if we play the animation, we get a little bit of time with it out here. And we can change the steps if we wanted that to be a little bit longer time pause. We can just click that. It's not the best way to do animation, but it works. And if I click loop, we can watch it loop. Here's our door swinging open. And the great thing is, once you create a motion study like this, it's available to you in the render workspace. So if you make a render of this, then you can actually make a render of the animation or motion study. Hopefully you're able to use Fusion 360 to create joints for your cabinet assemblies and any other thing that you may need joints for.